So right here we have our diffuser that is located in a flow type carburetor. This helps in maintaining a correct mixture strength over a wide range of engine operations. Now, on, without the diffuser, as you increase throttle opening to increase engine RPM, in the throat of the carburetor, you're going to have a high pressure drop. The low pressure is going to increase fuel flow through the discharge nozzle. However, because we're dealing with volume in terms of getting the amount to fill out of the discharge nozzle and not to the density of the air, we could have a overrich mixture at times. Now, what this diffuser tube does at idle, the fuel level in the flow chamber and the diffuser is the same. As RPM increases due to restriction in the main jet system, and of course, fuel being drawn out of here. The fuel level changes between the two. And we're taking air from the air inlet or the air balance duct to mix inside of this diffuser tube, which is on our main jet. And that air comes through these holes and mixes with the fuel as it goes out of the discharge nozzle. And that helps to weaken the mixture slightly and thus maintain a correct ratio of fuel to air preventing over rich mixture as you increase engine rpm and as you climb all right guys hope you grasped what i just said about diffusers on flow type carburetors it's very simple any additional reading you might want to check out um, the FAA AMP book chapter 2 should have some stuff inside there about it thanks for watching have a good night folks